Okay, lads, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fight is standing. We'll go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times, touch gloves. Good left hook from Warrington, well timed. As the right arm of Lopez came down in the midst of him throwing a shot himself. Just over half a minute to go in this lively opening round. Warrington needs to use his jab. Lopez is a very talented fighter, a reflex fighter. You can see he throws punches from awkward angles. It's very, very strong. Josh has to use his experience. Good right hand from Warrington, who's got a smattering of blood just beneath his nose. Strong shots from Warrington, though. Looks to have been the more accurate generally over the course of the first round. And when he lands now, you can hear it ringside. You can hear the thought of it. But he, 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 he winds up, he throws him from a mile away. Surely Warrington can start to counter him. Take his time, set himself. Look at the catch and counter Warrington. The head, clash of heads. But he's making the meal of it. Absolutely, and his team have been doing that throughout the build-up, referencing Kiko Martinez last time out and Mauricio Lara the time before that over at Headingley. And now there's a cut by the left eye. And is this going to be another disappointing early night in the career of Josh Warrington? Uncanny how so often he comes off best with that chin tucked into his chest as he pulls forward. In Lopez again firing from long range, almost launching his attacks with his feet coming off the canvas almost. Warrington trying to time the left hook, just didn't quite get it right this time. Both men having their moments. No one really dominate those first two rounds, very close rounds. Good right hand on the way up from Warden. The same punch that caused the clash of heads and caused the cut. Warrington studied, you can see that Warrington studied Lopez. And then, good left hook from, from Warrington, but the response is immediate from Lopez. That's the problem with this passive, oh, good body shot from Lopez. And that's the kind of shot that did for Isaac Lowe, the kind of shot that's been decisive in his last three fights, inside the final minute of the third round. Warrington. Good work behind the left hand again from Warrington, and that set up the overhand right, which just brushed the top of the head of Lopez. But when it's at long range, for the moment, it's Lopez having the most success. Good shot to the body, though, from Warrington, and follows up with a right hand underneath the left elbow of Lopez. Both men have landed some very impressive work to the body over the course of these first four rounds. We're into the last 40 seconds of the fourth. Overcut on the inside from Lopez. Good body shot, or punch to the hip from Warrington. Lopez, for his part, 15 inside the distance from his 26 wins. Good shots from Warrington. Yeah, it's like Warrington is just trying to figure out Lopez. Such an unorthodox fighter and the way he throws his punches. And when he when he sets his attacks, Lopez. Very hard to counter. So Warrington started around trying to drain Lopez, but now he's trying to box him and now he's trying to move him up. Lopez talking to Warrington, looking like a man born to the World Championship stage. He's got a narrow lead on our card as blood starts to trickle again from that left eye.
Warrington successes draw only a smirk from Lopez, but another strong left hook did get through from Warrington. Uppercut from Lopez draws applause from his corner here, close to our commentary position. Just like that, a flush left hook, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on him. He has been beaten twice in his career, has Lopez, by Abraham Montoya, fellow Mexican, and the American prospect at the time, Ruben Villa. But the second of those was back in 2019, and a good right hand from Warrington. And Lopez was forced to just regather himself in a brief moment, bending over there as we reach the halfway stage of round seven. Compelling contest, as we've said so often in the career of Josh Warrington. Hook to the body once again from Lopez. You can almost feel it landing here from a few feet away at ringside. And then a right hand over the top, crunches against the jaw of Warrington. Very comfortable right now, Lopez. Warrington needs something big. He needs to try and turn the tide here. Good left hook from Warrington. that stiff left jab again from Warrington. That has worked well when he's decided to use it. Warrington probably needs these last four rounds. And he can win them, he can steal these rounds. Not engaging, boxing like he is. Using his feet work, using his jab and picking his shots and then getting out of range. This Just could still be very, very close. These rounds were close early on. But it's definitely been Lopez fight the last three or four rounds. Complaining again. So referee Bob Williams allowing Lopez a timeout for that shot behind the back from Warrington. Has to, has to use his shot, just can't walk into range like that. Because he's got eight shots. And Warrington noticeably backed off after those two shots from Lopez. When he jabs, he's having success. <laughs> Lopez, time and again, trying to time that right uppercut. What can Warrington dredge up here on what is one of the hardest, toughest nights of his career so far, his 13-year professional career? Good shots from Warrington. Feigned and jab, feigned up jab. again from Warrington. Reason to cheer for the crowd. Can he follow up on that? He needs to. Heading to the halfway stage of the 11th round. Gets through with a right hand over the top. And for the first time, Lopez looks uncomfortable. Good work to the body from Warrington. Lopez felt that shot to the body, no question about it. Warrington's thrown a lot of punches so far in this round. Very be interesting round. to see how Lopez responds, Andy. You've been saying he's been trying to catch the judge's eyes late on. Very good round for Warrington so far. Oh, he's hurt him with the he's, hurt. Hurt. he's hurt. And Lopez is badly hurt. Complaining about a head class which did not exist. Listen to the crowd getting behind Warrington here now. On the attack. Closing seconds of round 11. So this time it was Lopez warned to the transgression. Holding, is that because he's tired? He's feeling the pace. He's never been into the 12th round. He now tries to respond as Warrington goes on the march once again with the crowd behind him. 
as their song says, they're marching on together. Can he produce it now in this last minute and 45 seconds or so? Takes the right hand from Lopez on the gloves. A minute to go. Even this last minute could be crucial. Big He's hit from Warrington. Giving himself angles to land that left hook. Much better in the last two rounds. Going to the taking finish. For so long it looked as though Lopez would be ripping the belt from the waist of Warrington. But what a comeback it's been. As his dad said in the corner, ahead of this round. That's why you're world champion, because you've produced what you've produced over the last four rounds. And again, he catches Lopez. Again, Lopez has to hold on. Brilliant finish from Josh Warrington. Has it been enough? He raises his arm. He thinks he's done enough. Lopez thinks he's done enough. What a fight. What a night. So, so close. Which way has it gone? Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in Leeds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Howard Foster, 114, 114 even. Mike Fitzgerald and Adam Hyde both scored this bout 115 to 113. For your winner, by majority decision, and the new.